Hey everyone, my name is Smeddy. Welcome to the BME Life. Today we're going to be talking about what to expect for an internship interview for a biomedical engineering company, as well as my experience with it. So some of the things that we're going to be talking about include how I got the interview, the phone interview process, how I prepared for the face-to-face -face interview, the actual face-to-face -face interview, and just any tips that I might have for you. But first of all, I just want to say that this was my first BME interview ever. I definitely didn't know what to expect. But let's start with how I got the interview. So I applied for a medical device company here in San Antonio. I'm not sure if I can say the name, so I just won't. And they were just asking for you to send your resume to them through email. I also sent my cover letter and a letter of recommendation just to support myself. And I would say that within a week, they replied to me and they told me that they wanted to schedule me for a phone interview. But, you know, we just scheduled a phone interview. I've never had a phone interview before, so I definitely didn't know what to expect. For that one, I didn't prepare at all. I was just like, okay, we'll see what happens. So they just called me, I answered, of course, and then pretty much just went over my resume. They asked me about my experience in the lab, what I did, and then they just told me about their company. Less than a week after my phone interview, I got an email saying that they would like to schedule me for a face-to-face -face interview. So that was really exciting. So now that I made it to the phase interview, how did I prepare for it? I just, you know, I googled questions that are for general interviews. I found like a good list of 10 questions maybe. Wrote them in a Google Doc and then answered them. Just a little disclaimer. For the actual interview, they didn't ask me any questions. But right now I'm just gonna tell you how I prepared for it because if you are gonna be having a BME or an engineer interview they might ask you questions so I'm just gonna go over the questions that I prepared with and the first one is tell me a little bit about yourself when they ask that question you know they don't want to be they don't want to hear my name is Medi I like singing and playing guitar I have two sisters I have two cats you know like no like I mean obviously right but like what I didn't know is that they want to hear about your background and your experience here you tie it up to their company. So always make sure to every question, tie it to their company. The second question I studied was like, my strengths and weaknesses. And when you say your weakness, like prepare beforehand and make a list of your weaknesses and choose one that you can like counteract. So for example, I would say one of my greatest weaknesses is that I'm not a very good going person. So or that I'm very shy so when it comes to having to express or communicate I don't do it so confidently because you know I'm shy but as a BME student I've had the opportunity to just burst my bubble and it forces me to get out of my comfort zone and just all the projects and presentations and just networking have, have forced me to come out of my comfort zone and just be more confident in myself and that's something that I'm working on every day. Third question I guess would be one of your most major accomplishments and you know again make sure to make it uh, say something that's related to the company or at least the field you know like if I'm applying to a BME company I'm like gonna say one of my greatest accomplishments is having sang the national anthem in front of millions of people you know, even though i didn't do it but you know just say something related to it and other questions which just include like things about the company like what do you know about the company so make sure that you do your research beforehand why do you want the internship why should they hire you and just be able to market yourself really those are the questions i prepared with and then i also wrote some questions that i would ask to them and these were actually very important to my actual face-to-face -face interview. So during the actual face-to-face -face interview, I got there um, about like 15 to 13, 12, I don't know, minutes early. Make sure to be early, you know? You know what they say, like, early is on time and on time is late. They made me go in like right away. They were ready for me, so I just went in. They just started off by, you know, telling me about their company, about their product, they were telling me, you know, what the role as an intern would be, what my day would look like as an intern, all of the things 
guys so I'd be doing um, like to talk a little bit about my experience and then, then let me talk a little bit of my experience they literally just talked about themselves and then they said do you have any questions for us so they didn't ask me any questions at all even though I had prepared like crazy so I just asked them questions and when they were done they they took me to the lab to tour it and then someone else was in there and then they just told me what I would be doing with all the testing and just manufacturing the device, 3D modeling, you know, all the cool stuff. After we were finished with the tour, they just brought me back to the office and then they just wrapped it up. They let me ask any final questions and then they told me that, you know, they had four strong candidates including myself and that of those four they were going to choose two to be interns. So, I mean, the chances are good, but I'm still, you know, a little nervous. Overall, the interview process was a really good experience. So just for any last tips that I might have to you, I would say expect everything. Like, be prepared for everything because, you know, I was expecting questions to myself. But that didn't happen, obviously. It was very different from what I expected, which was good, though, because I, I preferred this rather than them asking me questions. So it was a really enjoyable experience. Like I loved learning about their product and just getting to see their lab. It was more like a tour day to me. But I'm sure, you know, other BMW or other engineering or any other company, you know, might do their interviews differently. So just be prepared for everything. Another thing I would say is always bring your business cards with you. I have business cards, but I didn't take them with me because I didn't think I would need them. But first thing they did when we sat down they gave me their business cards and it would have been awesome if I would have been able to give them mine. If you have business cards, always carry them with you. And I guess last thing, you know, just be confident in yourself. And I know it's a, an easy thing to do, but a hard thing to say. No, the other way. It's an easy way, to, easy thing to do, but a hard thing. It's an easy thing to say, but a hard thing to do. Anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, watching if you made it this far and if you have any questions make sure to hit me up either here or on instagram or twitter everything at the bmi life and comment down below any your best 